welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time when we left off, we had just swept our way through a huge chunk of fiend territory, killed a bunch of mooks, left all the important ones alive for later, and we had arrived at Sunset Sarsaparilla Headquarters, which is our next destination and our last real major target before heading into uh, the Dead Money DLC, which I know everyone's very excited about. I'll be ready to go here in just a second. Good morning, His Headness. It's great to see both of you. I am actually doing very well this morning. I feel good. How are you guys? stuck on the infinite loading screen. We worked so hard to fix this bug at the beginning. Oh boy. Well, it's clearly happening, so give me a minute. Maybe it's just a fluke. Wouldn't be unheard of. Oh, good. I'm glad you were able to catch up on Resident Evil. All right, let's just try it again. It's, it's happened once or twice since the beginning, but... Uh, you hate to see... You hate to see old bugs you thought were squashed come back. That's what you want. Let's try this again. No, we're gonna do Sunset Sarsaparilla Headquarters and then start Dead Money. And we should be able to uh, get through here just fine. So here we are. As you'd expect, tons of empty Sunset Sarsaparilla around. Programmer's Digest. A couple of actual bottles. Quaff those right quick. Right here in this front room, you can hear a lot of other stuff moving around, but here is the guy we heard of at the very beginning of the Legend of the Star Quest, Festus. It's funny, he's actually treated as an NPC. Channel 6 recently, say, silly old 
<laughs> Star info. Oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there, and what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows, except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Wrestle up enough of them, and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Uh, no, Karish, you've hardly missed anything, actually. Howdy, partner! Well, if Silly old advisory. Return to Festus with enough Sunset Sarsaparilla star caps to earn a prize. Silly old advisory. I'm sorry. I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? Silly old advisory. While Sunset Sarsaparilla is perfectly safe, a recent independent study, whose validity is currently being challenged, revealed the following. Excessive ingestion of sarsaparilla can lead to deleterious effects, including, but not limited to, kidney damage, nausea, digital numbness, anxiety, loss of visual acuity, dizziness, occasional nosebleeds, joint inflammation, tooth decay, sore throat. Lucky. If this is your first rodeo with the old horseshoes, say, how do I play? Otherwise, say, lucky horseshoes to begin. How do I play? Lucky horseshoes is played with cards number 2 through 10 and aces, which have a value of 1. You and old Festus will take turns drawing cards. Each time we draw a card, we add it to our total. Trying to hit the magic number of 21. If either of us draws a card that brings our total up to the same number as the other, it pushes the other player's total up one. When this happens, it's called Lucky Horseshoes. Old Festus thought of the name himself, I'll have you know. <laughs> when one of us is closer to 21 and the other can't get any closer, either by going over or because he or she held, the closer player wins. Old Festus likes the game because there are no ties in Lucky Horseshoes. If someone's sitting pretty old 21, Lady Luck can still bump them off. But enough jawing. By now, you're as eager as I am to get tossing. I feel lucky. Lucky Horseshoes. All right, let's play, partner. Press the blue button to draw a card. The red button to hold, or the yellow button to quit. Draw. Looks like you got a 10, partner. Old Festus must be getting old. You're leaving me in the dust. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got a 3, partner. Drat! Old Festus needs more than that to catch you. Your turn, partner. Draw, hold, or quit. Let's draw. Looks like you got a 10, partner. Old Festus must be getting old. Looks like I got an 8, partner. Tom Nation. Old Festus has seen three-legged cattle move faster than this hand. Your turn, partner. Draw, hold, or quit. Oh, 
I'll hold on 20. Okay, partner. Guess it's up to me to catch up. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got a nine, So partner. he bumped me to 21. Lucky horseshoes. I just does your total up one, partner. No hard feelings, right? You're holding, so old Festus will just go again. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got a three, partner. Yeah, looks like you win, partner. Old Festus just couldn't match up the keen skills of yours. Here's your reward. If you'd like to play again, say, so we get caravan again. cards. If you're done humiliating poor old Festus in his own game, say, I'm done. So he gave us caravan cards. I'm done. That's too bad. Old Festus was looking forward to a good tussle. And finally, we can actually turn in our star caps. Howdy, partner! Deposit your sunset sarsaparilla stars in the slot. Woohoo! You did it, partner! Bullet for you! 84 caps. Old Festus knew you could do it. I suppose you'll be wanting that prize now. Well then, hold on to your hat, cause it's a doozy. Not many people have heard the true story behind Sunset Sarsaparilla. Well, it's a right honor. And now, without further ado, your prize, the Legend of the Star. Long ago, people didn't have a heap of choices when it came to soft drinks. It was either water, or Nuka-Cola. Now, the threat of legal action forces me to say that Nuka-Cola is a swell beverage, but sometimes people just wanted something different, you know? So one day, a man, a saloon owner in a small town, decided to make a new type of soft drink and asked his patrons what flavor they'd like it to be. After getting no help from them, a stranger at the end of the bar suggested the man make a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. The stranger said he would happily share his family's recipe for the drink on one condition. The condition being that the stranger would be allowed to sample the bottle whenever he liked to ensure the recipe was being followed to the letter. The man happily agreed, thinking the drink would make him rich and the stranger promised to meet him by sundown the next day. The next morning, the sheriff stopped by and reported that the stranger's body was found on the side of the town road. He'd been killed by bandits. The man, cursing his luck, closed the saloon early that day, just as the sun began to set. But after he'd locked the doors, he turned around to find an unfamiliar bottle on the bar with a note beneath it. The note was sealed with blue wax in the shape of a star. Opening it, the man found it contained a recipe for a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. Sampling the bottle's contents and finding it singularly delicious, the man gave silent thanks to his mysterious benefactor wherever he was. Being an honorable man, the saloon owner paid for the stranger's funeral, thinking it was the least he could do to repay him. The saloon owner went on to become rich selling the new drink, and to this day, some bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla have a blue star under their caps. Some say the saloon owner ordered it done in honor of the stranger. Others say it's the stranger sampling the bottles like he promised. And that's the legend of the store. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you continue enjoying Sunset Sarsaparilla. Quest failed. The legend of the star. Is this some kind of joke? The Sunset Sarsaparilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Therefore, we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. Just head through the double doors and follow the hallway to your left to the very end. An attendant will be there to present your prize directly. We at the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would once again like to thank you for your patronage. Alright. 
There we go. Quest added. A valuable lesson. Warning. Dangerous go to the Sunset Sarsaparilla Prize Vault to collect your prize. Uh, anyway, hello, Martin. Nice to have you here for one of the morning streams. I guess you, you, you usually make the morning ones. Nice to have you regardless. It's good to see you, my friend. Right, so now we can go ahead and explore the building. A few active security bots remain, but we're not going to face a lot of opposition in here. Continuing search for fugitive. Clear the hallway first. It's a trap. Yeah, no kidding. Somebody's played video games before. Let's check this one. Looks like, a, looks like an office. People were drinking lots of sarsaparilla. All these empty bottles. We're going to have more purified water than we know, possibly know what to do with by the end of this thing. Didn't want the cup. That's a waste slot. I think that's actually top out our carry weight, so we need to take a little break to go offload. Drink those. On the way out. Has it lost a bit of its shine? Not really. I mean, the, uh, I'll admit that the main game is a little bit boring, but there isn't that much of it left for one thing, and for another, we still have the expansions to look forward to. I think we should easily be able to finish Sasprilla HQ during today's stream, and after that, we're going to go to Dead Money, which, even though I keep saying I am specced for it, is still going to be... It's different enough that it's going to be interesting anyway, and it's hard enough that it should still be a nice challenge, so. Yeah, there's plenty There's plenty left to look forward to. I, I will admit that going through the main game like a hot knife through butter is, as you put it, lost a little bit of its shine, but... But I'd, I'd, I'd even put a caveat on that statement, though, because the the exploration aspect of the game is still a lot of fun. I'd be I'd be remiss to say that it's not enjoyable to talk to the NPCs and discover the storyline as we go, even though the uh, challenge factor is. Mostly gone, at least at least from the base game. Will sir be staying for any considerable? Will sir be staying for any considerable? That... All right. 
We've got a bunch of stuff to sell him this time. That's good. Fixer, fixing things, Hydra, Patriots Cookbook, Programmer's Digest, Super Spin Bag, Tales of Junktown Jerky Vendor, Turbo, Tales of Chivalry, Free War Money, and Abraxo. Really? I didn't... I did not realize that this playthrough had hit its one-year anniversary. That is kind of crazy. Actually, if any, though, if anything, I would have guessed it was earlier, because I thought I started it before I switched jobs, but I guess not. Well, thank you all so much for sticking with me so long. It has... It has required some patience, I'm sure. Anyway, let's head back to Sunset Sesperl HQ. We're hungry now. Let's hit that big corner steak. That we carry for precisely that reason. And let's get back to it. checking out this office, as I recall. We had made it over here. Two more sarsaparillas. It also looks like there's... there actually is some kind of upper floor that we'll want to go check out. wonder how extensive it is. Got a terminal here. Sunset Sarsaparilla Company Intranet Annual Sales Report. Our performance in the East continues to improve thanks to the new Build Mass with SAS campaign. The Northeast continues to be a tough nut to crack and continues slow growth as expected. Things are shaping up in the North and Midwest, and the leaders of those teams are to be commended. As usual, performance in the Southwest is strong. Overall, this has been a banner year for Sunset Sarsaparilla, and you should all be proud of yourselves. same hallway. Let me check the upper floor first. Staircase down. Broken custodial robot. Alright. Let's hit the restroom. Sarsaparilla crates, of course. And that's it for this one. Alright.
<laughs> Benjamin, I like that statement. Nice. Can I punch through here? No. It was worth a shot. So here's another restroom. Scope this out right quick. Time does fly well. Skyrim took me so many tries to settle on something, and I was actually talking to Tiff the other day. She thinks... She thinks that at some point I should do a survival mode Skyrim playthrough. I told her I thought you all were pretty fed up with Skyrim, even though it's something I would have fun with, but at minimum that's something to procrastinate until we get some other things done, I think. We want all that, and oh lord, we got a bunch of stuff up here too. What the heck am I running into? Seriously, what keeps, like, pushing me over to the side when I do that jump? That's weird. It's super weird. Anyway. Let's lose these crates. So we may still return to Skyrim at some point in the future. Look at, I, I really think a survival mode playthrough would be different enough to still be interesting, at least for me. But I also realize we played a shitload of Skyrim, and there's lots of other stuff we want to see, so it wouldn't be for some time yet. Anyway. Sarsaparillas and string bows. Oh, I saw this entrance earlier. That's good. Broken bottling robots. not hostile. So I'll talk to him in a second. Oh, maybe. Need to finish clearing the room first. Which is actually a pretty complicated task when there's this much shit to pick up. finish off this room and then go offload. Should be fine. So what happens, one thing I should point out too since this has been going on the entire game is um, when I turned in my star bottle caps the um, to Festus, it collected the 50 and then the others that I had collected just reverted to normal caps. Since star caps are no longer relevant after that point. Alright. 
We'll go offload and then we'll come back here. Let's see about that bottling robot. Anyway, whew. He finished eight jobs on the <laughs> during the Skyrim playthrough. <laughs> I had a real shortage of caps, yeah that's true. At least I'm finally taking to heart the fact that I can still teleport while over encumbered, right? It's like, oh, well I can at least finish leaving this room before we head out. Do it. What's up, Muggy? Let's get well rested. just absolutely drowning in empty bottles, which we can now turn into purified waters. Good morning, Infinimora. Everybody seems to be in a good mood today. It certainly includes me. How are you? And I just need to grab another big corner steak since I had to the one I was carrying. I believe that's it. We haven't even had any radiation or any weapon damage, so we'll just head back now. next dog will be. Yeah, what's that? Oh, muggy. Yes, yes, of course. All right. Let's go talk to that bottling robot and see what the deal is there. Marker number 27438 reporting. There seems to be a malfunction with the line, sir. Wait a minute. You locked my manager. Intruder! You must be... Oh. Now he is hostile. All right. Well then. The immortal words of driver in a fight get fucked. Let's see, there's some empty bottles on those shelves up there that I really don't care about trying to negotiate a way to retrieve. Let's go back upstairs. This room's clear. And the restrooms are clear too. That's good. Leaves. A couple doors down this way we haven't explored yet. Getting some clipping errors. Stuff rolling around like invisibly. I find that unnerving. 
What if I miss something important? Broken personal assistance. Got the important stuff. My personal assistant would. Probably have a bottle of gin instead of a bottle of whiskey, but close enough. Another hole. Another gap down to reach the first floor. It looks like it'll drop us on the other side of a barricade. And maybe I'll come back here if this is the way I'm supposed to go to get someplace. In the meantime... Got a very easy terminal to unlock. Sung. There it is. Sunset Susperilla Company Intranet. Welcome, Miss Page. The President has no new messages since the last time you logged in. Check saved inbox messages. What contest? From Nathan Stanley, Director of PR. Subject, what contest? Body. Sir, the rumors of some sort of contest are quickly growing out of control. We're getting flooded with calls and messages asking if it's true we're redeeming bottle caps for prizes. Do you want me to make an official statement denouncing this rumor? Fact. How's your new toy? From Lucas Nash, VP of Sales, Robco Corporation. Subject, how do you like your new toy? Body. Kenneth, I hope you've been impressed thus far with your recent purchase. Your company has been and continues to be a valued customer. Contact me if you have any questions. And let's check the saved sent items. Or saved sent messages. Regarding what contest? To Nathan Stanley, Director of PR. Subject regarding what contest? Body. Stanley, are you out of your mind? Have you seen the latest... <laughs> Have you seen the latest sales figures? We're up 300% since these rumors started, and you're asking if I want you to make it stop? Please stop by my office so we can further discuss the issue. While the iron is hot. To Marcus Brody, VP of Technology. Subject, while the iron is hot, body. Marcus, I have a few ideas about how we can turn this whole contest situation to our advantage. I'm going to need you to work with the advertising guys on a very special project. A meeting request will be sent out soon. By the way, how do you feel about cowboys? And regarding how do you like your new toy? To Lucas Nash, VP of Sales, Robco Corp. Subject regarding how do you like your new toy? Body. Lucas, I couldn't be happier with the performance of the new model. If its current performance is any measure, it promises to reinvent my company's entire distribution network. I'd like to tentatively discuss purchasing a few more in the near future. How soon do you expect more to become available? Alright. Back, back, back. We're done there. Let's finish looting this room. More sarsaparilla. Hooray. I think... Ooh, average locked wall safe. Let's get this open, too. Yeah, so any more star caps we find will just be treated as ordinary caps by the game. Let's check out this other staircase. See where it goes. A very hard door that we can apparently pick to close. I'll take three experience points. Another very hard door. Come on now. I want those goodies. There we go. Oh, jeez. There we go. Negotiate the weird clipping errors, including this invisible toolbox. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Oh, it's been acting weird all day. First, we got the infinite load screen glitch for the first time in months. Now we got invisible shit all over the floor. about this terminal. Welcome, Mr. Brody. Check automated messages. Automated messages system. Go to page one. 
reports a servo failure reports all systems ok report a line malfunction reports oil maintenance needed soon reports a weapon malfunction report all is ok reports all systems ok reports weapon ok reports a line malfunction go to page two reports an actuator failure reports minor structural damage reports a line malfunction reports oil maintenance needed soon reports a line malfunction report all is ok report inactivity reports inactivity report inactivity go to page three Reports an intruder. Reports major structural damage. Report major structural damage. Report an intruder. Report major structural damage. Report major structural damage. Reports the intruder has been injured. Reports major structural damage. Reports major structural damage. Interesting. Oh my, now what was that? My event monitor's all skewwampus. Feast Homer, thank you for the follow, my friend. I appreciate it. It's nice to have you here. Okay, so we're done. That's an interesting little tidbit. Not much to it, though. So now we've kind of circled back down to just uh, one little way to go or explore, and that's, well, I guess two. So we've got the doors that theoretically lead to the prize. And we've still got the rest of this hallway to check out, so let's do that right quick. Storage closet. Mr. Janitor. I suppose he's gonna do. Average locked terminal. From Iraq, wow, or Iraq, um, whatever the technically correct pronunciation is. Wow, thank you for being here. That's quite the distance, I appreciate it. Collector is just one. That's pretty much gotta be this. Check mail. You have the following messages. Water leak. From Clark Weathers, VP of Operations. Subject, water leak, body. Just letting you guys know we've had reports of a possible small water leak in the upstairs meeting room. The long-term effects of water damage can be very, very expensive. So let's get this problem solved before it gets any worse, shall we? Great job. From Kenneth Aguilar, President, Subject, Great Job, Body. I wanted to personally congratulate you on the success of the new automated janitorial system. In particular, number 135 has proven very popular with the staff. I can't tell you how many complaints I used to hear about stray bottle caps getting into the machinery. Oh, and we should have a meeting soon concerning the rest of your staff. How's Tuesday? Oh, we know what's happening there. Check maintenance system. Worker. Area hallways, unavailable. Area offices, unavailable. Area bottling and shipping. Standby. Activate worker, 135. Commencing minor garbage collection. So that'll wake up Mr. Janitor. I see my services are required once more. It's about time. Let's check out these other two doors while he does his thing. This looks like a break room. It's amazing how much dust collects if you leave things alone even for a second. Looks like we got another factory floor type zone to clear out. There's actually, there's quite a bit to Sunset Sesperal HQ. We may, unfortunately, not make it to dead money today. Really? Someone should have called me earlier. hate to disappoint, but there is just too much to... Wow, look at all this. Oh, 
we're definitely going to get over encumbered in here again. Let's try the average lock terminal here. Students, one of eight. Students, that works, but it's not it. Students, grievous, that works, and that's it. <laughs> Prediction for the game against the Blue Jackets. First road game's always hard. You have one saved message and one saved draft. Check message. To Margie Walker, Truckers Union Rep. Subject, bad news, body. I'll apologize up front if there are any mistakes in this message. I'm trying out a new dictation headset. Margie, the boss man, just ordered some kind of newfangled robot that's supposed to take over some of your deliveries. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but you should hear about it soon. I'll write again when I know more. Do not pass this along. Check message. Oh, sorry, that's all. Check draft. To Margie Walker, Trucker's Union Rep. Subject, worse news. Body, we've got trouble. That hush-hush experimental robot I told you about the other day? The damn thing is single-handedly running all of our distribution in the Vegas area now. Your boys aren't on temporary leave, it's permanent. Damn, the president wants to see me in his office. I'll finish this later. Well, there you go. Automated out of their jobs. Classic old story. Yeah, look at all these crates. I mean, how could I even possibly reach them all? But let's see, let's go get the other automated worker, I guess we'll start there. sets of shelves from here. Let's start there. Let's see what I can get, and then we'll go offload. Come back and finish this off. Now the janitor, when he's done making his rounds, deposits a bunch of caps into one of the trash cans. I was not watching closely enough to see where he actually went. So, I'll have to check the garbage cans when I come back to find his little collection, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Because once this room is done, we're finished exploring the headquarters and we're ready to head down the prize hall and wrap this place up. Let's see, I think I can... And reasonably reach. It's like three levels of shelves in the ground.
this one. We'll go counterclockwise. Keep it nice and systematic. with every intention of trying to do it, but then shit started spilling and exploding everywhere. It's alright. It's alright. It's not gonna hurt anything. Really? That pallet's done. This is kind of tedious, but you guys have been around for a while. You know how I am about being thorough. We're almost done. to this. We've got one last little pallet over here. And it is smaller, as you can see. Thankfully. And then we'll head out those garage doors to offload again. Perfect. Gaming OCD. Maybe that's how. I think. I'm I'm happy calling that good. <laughs> Back to Big Mountain, and unfortunately, we only have about five minutes left in today's stream. So, I can't decide if it's worth being late to work to push through the start of dead money or not. It's, it's not, it's not. We're going to have to do that on Thursday. But the good news is... On Thursday, we will start at the beginning of Dead Money. It's, you know, and that's probably a good way to organize an episode anyway. So, I choose not to be too upset about it. It's almost all empty bottles, so let's go turn those into purified waters. Everything off. Yes, there we go.
I don't want that hit of dehydration. Can I get some gear I can use from dead money? Uh, no, just perks. At this point, the only, uh, only gear upgrades I think are in the future are the, uh, YCS-183, which is going to come our way, actually, during the main game. Will Sir be staying for any con- Will Sir be staying for any con- Got a few things to sell him. I think just the pre-war money, actually, is all I saw, but... There we go. Back to it. Yeah, we've cleared the place out now, so... All that's left now is to head to the prize room to learn our valuable lesson. Let's blow through here. Where we were supposed to go. Oh, just kidding, we got more rooms. Ah, uh, let's check the restroom. Ooh, something was incinerated. A hundred bottle caps and a medex. That's a sign. Toilet jet. Let's pick up the jet without accidentally drinking from the toilet. We got another restroom here. It's blocked off in its own right. And apparently has nothing in it at all. Well, that's awesome. Yep, nothing in here. Forced to wonder what the point was, but it's all right. No big deal. Collapsed hallway here. A couple of these little shelves. A few more empty bottles and another door. Sarsaparilla. Another door. Looks like a break room. door to the Mojave Wasteland. So that's it. So we can't get to the prize room this way. As I suspected, we have to go drop behind the barricade through that upstairs passage we found. Let's go do that right quick. Saw the freaky clipping air again. Oh, and I need to check the... Uh, I need to check the garbage cans too. Figure out where Mr. Janitor dropped all of his caps. I'll do that after we drop down here. Find the prize room. Ah, oh, look, we're behind the barricade. This is the prize room. We've got the dead body of one Alan Marks, who, if you were paying attention at the very beginning of the quest, oh, and look at all these bottle caps. Sunset Sarsaparilla deputy badges. But the, uh... Alan Marks is the one who we were warned about at the very beginning of the quest, who would go crazy and murder you for star caps. Well, he's in here and he's dead. All these deputy badges and a whole boatload of bottle caps, but I forgot you got all these caps at the end. The deputy badges I remembered. 
they're weightless and valueless, so we might as well pick them up. In fact, I think uh, the, the badges might be what's causing the everything else in here to act so strangely, because the, when the game has to render too many objects at once inside a cell, things get wonky. So, let's keep looting all that, and all these. Almost just as a matter of cleanup, really. We'll leave Alan till the end. Clear the rest of the room. Yeah, I bet that's why it was acting so weird. Just having to render too many objects. Now well, let's clean it up, see if we can make things a little bit easier on you. How's that sound, game? And it's not even a problem with like hardware, it's just when when they throw this many discrete objects into a cell, it's like the game engine can't handle it and chokes. Okay. That all looks good. Now we got six more cap crates. And we have Alan. His unique laser pistol, Pew Pew. Search the body. And the holotape. Achievement unlocked, the legend of the star. Quest completed, a valuable lesson. So let's listen to the holotape. I guess this is it. Not much air left now. Minutes, maybe. And this is what I have to show for it. I guess the joke's... on me. Probably shouldn't have killed... all those people. Probably should have stayed at home. And taken care of my mom. She... always used to say people who... murder and steal... die bad in the end. <laughs> well, I guess we know what happened to Alan. Alright, let's leave Sunset Sasparilla headquarters now. <laughs> There's one more little location nearby, and it's little, so I'm going to clear it out right now, right quick, just so that we can uh, start the next episode with dead money as advertised. But the, uh... Oh, Witch King, Gisol. Hi, everybody. Uh, Witch King, Vexmaster, whichever, whichever name you want to use. Thank you so much for the subscription, my friend. I really appreciate it. It's great to have you here. Whatever name you choose to use. All right, let's find the trash can where Mr. Janitor deposited his caps on the way out. I think it's close to where we activated him. This one, yes. Now we can roast him. Alright, that's it for Sunset Sasparilla Headquarters. Mr. Crate back in the prize room. Well, let's go check it out. Yeah, uh, Martin, I thought I was, I thought I explained this while I was picking him up. They, they have no weight and no value, so the badges are useless, but I think that rendering all those badges is the reason that the game was choking, and the engine was choking, rather, and other stuff was becoming invisible, so. All right, where did I miss a crate? I think I got them all. Yeah, I got all the crates. Damn, bedbound for two weeks. That's terrible. 
glad to... Well, I'm making an assumption, but I'm glad you're finally feeling better. Okay. There's one last little location out here that we're going to explore. And then I'm going to offload, and then we'll be ready to begin Dead Money on Thursday morning. So... If we head to the north... Longulus, thank you for the follow, my friend. Always nice to get new viewers around here. I really appreciate it. So up here, if we keep going north, you can see several more ruined homes. We'll quickly sweep through. I don't think there's any loot except what's in the mailboxes. thing here. Picnic tables and bombed out houses. Oh, hey, there's an empty sarsaparilla bottle. Yet another one. And there's the mailbox I almost missed. That's where you can actually find goodies. Yeah, this is more just about completing the loop in a sensible way so we don't have to come back here after dead money. Location is the Monte Carlo Suites, where we're just gonna do a little bit of looting and kill a few raiders. See, we've got this hotel, motel complex here. None of it's actually accessible. I want to rip around all these, check out all these doors and make sure of that for myself, but I'm Pretty sure, yes. Yeah, see, all the doors are inaccessible. We can't get in this building at all. A few more bombed out ones over here. Which I think are also empty and lootless. The one exception is going to be this one to the west should be the Monte Carlo Suites. This smacks of cut content to me. All these totally useless buildings. Yes, there's the Monte Carlo Suites. So. You'll notice the hostel here. It's a scorpion raider, if I remember right. It is ridiculously easy to roast. Let's do a perimeter check on this building right quick. I don't think there's anything in there. 
Will I be streaming this weekend? Unfortunately, I will not. Uh, I have a wedding to go to on Saturday, and I'm leaving very early Sunday morning to go to DC for work. And I won't be back until Tuesday night. So actually, there won't be a stream next Tuesday morning either. All right, let's sweep through here. Not much to find. few scorpions to kill, I think, and that's about all. Apparently some more empty bottles. So let's go get those. <laughs> Yvette was named, but hostile. So, no talking to her. Just kill her. She was the leader of the Scorpions. Perhaps there's some kind of cut content relative to these guys, too. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Easy locked door with three hostiles behind it. That's something. Somewhere. There he is. Roller. Roast him too. I feel, I feel like with named NPCs and this whole area over here and a new name for a gang that doesn't show up anywhere else, the Scorpions gang, I feel like this has to be some kind of cut content. But as it is, it's just this weird little zone with some named hostels in it and a little bit of loot, so. Let's keep on keeping on till everything's clear. I think we're alone now, so we can stand up. Nuka-Cola and Sunset Mascarilla. Another Nuka-Cola. Maybe 
one more room. And that's it for the Monte Carlo Suites. A little bit more to do. We head over here. You can see a couple of abandoned homes. I want to explore these two. Attempt to disarm. You have disarmed the trap. Rigged mailbox. Haven't seen those in quite some time. If we go into the house. much to find in the way of loot, but when we come out, we're going to get ambushed by three fiends. Keep moving north. There are a few more abandoned buildings to check out. I think there's actually like a fiend encampment over this way too. What I'm trying to do to close the gap is just, I'm not going inside yet, I'm going to register the thorn on my map. Then we're going to be done with the main game for a while and heading into dead money instead. I know everyone is very excited about that. anything anywhere. I don't think there is. And over there you can see signage pointing to something called the Thorn. When you look around here, people are actually growing food. All the doors are still barred. We can't get in and can't get into any of these rooms. Search this mailbox, though. And check out. I just want to make sure I check out all the buildings so that I don't have to worry that I missed anything. I think we're basically good. see like all of this is boarded up and you can't get inside any of it. Those are actually new areas, so let's just keep up the perimeter sweep here. Out 
absolutely triple certain I don't miss anything. Put my mind at ease. Laggy. Tiffany probably woke up and got on the internet on her phone. Or it's just because it's getting late and my neighbors are doing the same thing. Who knows? But anyway, we're almost done. <laughs> so, you can see what looks like this big, involved area actually is just totally barren and desolate sweep this entire perimeter and you notice you can't get into any of the buildings. Got a couple of guards here. That's a different location that we're gonna leave aside for now. Get some of this food though. Since it's not stealing, no one seems to care. That looks to be a different actual settlement that I'm going to leave aside. Oh yeah, west side. That's what it is. Not going to explore west side just yet. residents. Get the thorn registered on our map. Not going to go inside or anything like that, but we will check the rest of the joint out. West Side Militia. Okay, yeah, we'll leave, leave that alone. That's something else entirely. The West Side South Gate. I want to make sure that I haven't missed anything here on the South End, and I don't believe I have. Thorn on the map. We are ready to go to Big Mountain and offload. Let me check over here right quick. Yep, I've seen everything. Good. Okay, we ran. I let myself run really long today. Uh, might have been a mistake, but it's alright. get my shower today. Pew pew! Worth it, because it's dead money time come Thursday morning. So I'll put away pew pew. Let's do this. And this. Put away all this. I remember right, we can't bring anything at all with us into dead money, is that correct? Pretty sure that's right.
let me bring along the cigarettes I've gathered in the last few episodes, because we can redeem those at the uh, bunker. Will Sir be staying for any cons- Will Sir be staying for any- Sell him the standard cigarettes, because those are no good. Have some aid items to sell off to. Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. It's way over here. Around here, if I remember right. It's... There it is. Sierra Madre. Head over here to the vending machine and turn in my ciggies. Sierra Souvenir Aficionado. Got a bunch of Sierra Madre chips. We unlocked an achievement. And I'm going to leave it here so we can actually start dead money when I come back on Thursday morning. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me for Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. For those of you who watched live on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. If you're new, I hope you will consider hitting the follow button so you can see later on when we go live. If you're watching later on on YouTube, I understand, understand that I do stream it odd, unpredictable hours, generally early in the morning or on short notice, but all of my content makes its way to the YouTube channel, so if you pay attention there, you don't need to worry about missing anything. I hope you will like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed what you saw, and regardless of which platform you're watching on, I hope that you will join our Discord server. The link to do so is either in the Twitch channel description or the YouTube video description. We talk about the games you'd like to see me play, we discuss, I make official announcements, and we talk about basically anything and everything related to gaming or not. It's a lot of fun. Uh, next stream will be Thursday morning when we will kick off the Dead Money expansion. I hope to see you all there. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.